Howdy, Beastlow Bart here, and welcome. This episode's going to be titled Raftcraft. Kind of get the opinion that, uh, or the idea that it might actually be in the game called Raft. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of a screwing around a little bit, and wanted to figure out how to do that. Create an overhang, make a raft look more like a boat of some sort. Whether it be large, small, medium, whatever. So, I tried a couple different techniques and came up with a way that works pretty good. And we'll walk over here and take a look at this boat, and then we'll go through the, uh, the steps involved. It's my little viewing platform. Yeah, I was really freaking bored. You put a nice little lighted uh, viewing platform. So we'll head over here, and, you know, this is an unfinished boat here on the right, which is where we're going to go first. And, of course, any time that I plan on streaming with this game, it has to be nighttime. So, yeah. And, yes, I am in creative mode, just to be able to build faster and show what I'm talking about. All right. My OCDs um, build boats two different ways. If I want a square nose, or a you know, less, less pointy nose, then I'll do odd number of width. That gives you a angled section on the front. A lot of times I'll actually um, instead leave this open and put platforms out like it's a, a loading ramp so you can actually walk out onto it and get in and out of the raft there. But whenever you do a odd number, you always have uh, an odd method of having to do your supports for the flooring where you can actually skip one to be able to get your supports to work. Um, doesn't really work as well when you get to the center of a, um, an odd-numbered width. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, a nice slope sides here. And you can go as far as you want. I just figured two is actually good enough. Um, and I'll show you why two instead of one. So yeah, I just wanted to create a nice little... Now, of course, you can't really do anything in, in creative mode besides make stuff. Um, and this was kind of towards the fact that I'm running four engines uh, on my actual playthrough. Well, one of them. I've got multiple that are already completed to as far as the um, the content will allow. So I actually have four engines on this boat here to simulate. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm probably going to have to run six or eight. Um, one engine only covers a specific amount of tiles or pieces and if you go over that limit then the engines just gonna sit there and sputter and not be able to do anything I don't think these are gonna do or show anything right now but if you try running one it'll do that it just sputters and it just not enough power to actually get moving with all the way to the boat or the raft run a second one and still not enough third one, still not enough. So yeah, with this boat, four is not enough. When you see them actually start rotating at a good speed, then you know you've got enough. But, um, yeah. Four is not going to be enough for this size. When I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kill these off, and thank you. Um, we'll head over and show the process that I go through on making this. It's not as straightforward as it looks but as you notice there's no supports visible underneath here but there are some right here and I'll show you why so whenever I'm creating a, a larger boat a larger raft that I want to make into a ship then I think this one I went with an even number so one two three four five six yeah so this is a six wide and all these are gonna be six wide those are all mirror images of what this base, plat base platform is. So you build out your, your base platform, and if you do an even number, then you're going to get the pointy hull. And these are just angle pieces to go along with the regular floats. Um, my general rule of thumb is either four times. So if you're six wide, then I build out 12 that way and 12 that way. And I, I usually mark a center line. Whenever you're doing this, the center line will actually be too wide. This is the actual center line of the boat. So build your footprint. Get it the way you want. Um, 
And then after you've built your footprint, what I've done here is the white area is the original footprint, and the yellow area is an area that you're going to have to put in to be able to make this work. Okay. It, you don't have to fill in these little, little pieces right here because you're not going to actually do anything with these. In fact, if you're in a passive mode, you can actually delete these yellow ones afterwards, or you can paint them dark blue so they, they kind of match the water a little bit. But if you're in passive mode and you're not worrying about the sharks, then, or if you're just in creative mode, yo, what's up, brother? You're showing a technique I found for creating a cool thing in Raft. So on the end, I like to put at least one, maybe two, just to kind of look like it's the back of a boat. So once you've got your perimeter put all the way around, like I said, you just put one layer all the way around, and you don't have to worry about the, the half pieces to go in here. They are not necessary. So, as you can see on the next platform, um, what I've done here is, from the middle, and it just kind of worked out perfectly, is, and the, this is an important step here, is you use half height on the um, the pillar, uh, the regular pillars here. Regular pillar is not going to work for what we need to do. It's going to be twice the height as that. So you're going to use the half height pillar and space them out every other block. You don't have to put one in the middle. It would just be a waste of resources whenever you're trying to, to build. And then you put them on the diagonal just outside the, the raft like that to make the point. Okay. Once you've done that, then you're going to have to go back around, I mean, do this all around the boat, and then you're going to have to put a second layer in. So, just go around, and well, why, why couldn't you just use a full height? Because the bottom ones are going to get deleted if you're in passive mode or in a um, regular mode. So just go around, and double height the half pillars. It's the same number of resources as a full pillar, but there is a reason why you use two half pillars instead of one full pillar. So, once you've got this done, and the you know, bigger the boat, the longer it's going to take, um, you can come in, and you can see I've already done a lot more on this particular one here. Use the, um, the angled roof sections and you're going to put them on the white section overlapping the yellow section. So when you do it, it'll be right here, and you can use the wood or you can use the, uh, the thatch. I, I just like the, the wood look. And then when you place it down, just hit the R key so that it's facing away. And I like to go around and just do one layer first. And I don't need, um, shh, I put them on the wrong spot. I blame you, Slayer. It's all your fault. Thankfully it's creative, because you lose half your resources. So you put it here on the white, right there on the line between the white and the yellow. You don't have to, to do them in that color. And a nice little touch here, once you're placing the items down, is when you get to the end here, if you just hit the R key and face it away, and now it's nice and easy to um, to place these down. And see, I didn't have to change anything. Still using the original one that that's um, like so. Actually, you go away. There. Now it made up nicely. So once you've gone through and and not screwed up like that. The next layer gets a little bit easier. Now, the reason why I have this is not just because it's a way for me to get between the demonstrations. It gives me a entry point and exit point into the raft whenever I am in need of getting in and out of the raft because um, you're going to have to get out to go on to the different islands and different other stuff.
Uh, another thing I like to do also is on the very end is I like to, instead of using these, is actually use um, doors. And you can actually take that out and use door doors, rotate them so that they go to the inside. And you'll notice that it doesn't really match up well here. Um, you can actually put it here, open the door, and I'll do the same thing on this side here. So when you open the doors to the inside, you can actually leave a platform here to get in and out, but you can also come in here and, and just do that decorative and gives you a place to get in and out. You could actually leave those up there because of the next step. Um, then kind of trim out certain things here, but I'll finish this out just so you can see what I'm talking about. Now the reason why, um, see now we go to the upper level, the reason why I'm doing too high like this is this is, when you fir first put one down, it's only a half height. So it's not going to be the same height as a regular wall section or a regular pillar. You may want it shallow and not have access to the bottom, but you're going to need access to the bottom to be able to run your um, your anchor. Because if you're actually playing instead of just in creative mode, you're going to need your anchor and you're going to need... Um, if you want to run engines... Um, you're going to need them at some point, especially whenever you get towards the end. Um, to be able to get to Balboa Island, you are going to have to have engines because you cannot get there otherwise. Because it is um, actually... You would have to go against the wind, unless you feel like just paddling a lot um, for about an hour and go through about ten paddles. Now, since this is like this, you could actually put another piece back there and finish that up. That's probably what I'll do, just to kind of keep with this theme here. So, I'll just put in this. I'll put in a half-height wall. And then just do the, um, the edge pieces. So, you know, back of the boat's a nice way to get into it. Alright, so the reason why is to, and we'll use two double, um, or two half height posts or pillars here, is for the fact that when we start putting in our floor sections, see now we can do double all the way around. So much easier in, in um, creative mode where you're not actually having to uh, dig out all those frickin' resources. Oh, we'll do the full floor here. I just wanted to get to this point. Actually, trying a little bit different style on the um, beller. We'll go ahead and we'll finish off the um, the bow of the ship here, and then um, just to show some decorative uh, tricks and techniques. Yay! It's getting dark again. finish up the um, the bow of it at least to a few back. I guess right there is fine. I don't know why there's a need for a day night cycle in creative mode. I, I just don't don't get it.
right, so from here you can actually go ahead and run the um, pillars, full height. Skipping. Like I said, you can skip every other um, piece here. I tend to double up right here just simply because it's an odd length. Because I use from the middle and then I count out. If I skipped one tile, made it one tile shorter, then I wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> and unfortunately, because of the width here, we're going to have, well, we need this anyway. As you can see, as I'm building, they're casting a shadow that way. It makes it really handy for putting down these. Um, I think I have to put down an odd one here. But it draws the, the shadow right there. So, really easy to, to see which one. But of course, you got to watch the time of day. You can see the shadows, shadow is going away already. Alright, and I am just going to go ahead and, so I'm not going to complete the whole thing across. We'll complete two there. I do like the, um, I'm normally not a fan of the, um, th that type of radial menu system, but it works, gets the job done. Um, sorry, can't help myself. All right, so with the bow of the boat, you can do a couple different um, techniques. I usually like to, to set my my tower or my control room or what have you about right here. I'm not going to worry about building the control room or anything else, but uh, going towards the end, doing a single height out, and this is what I've started doing now, is... Um, not worrying about the supports and well I should go down and I'll show you what else you can do if you are in a any mode other than passive then naturally you're gonna have to deal with um, those pesky sharks all right we'll take this as far back as the stairs Then for the end, you can do a couple different ways. Um, actually, like so, and like so. I'm sure there's other ways you can do that as well, but um, just gives a nice little decorative touch, and you end up building up the, the bow. Like if you're in, in the Atlantic, Atlantic based ships will have that extra wall around it because, you know, the extra waves and crap are going to be taller in the um, Atlantic versus what you run into a lot of times in the Pacific. So, as you're building it, if you are in peaceful mode, you can just get rid of the whole yellow line, half pillars included. If you are in, let's see, and if you have the ability to do that, the foundation armor, you can use the foundation armor going around to help reduce the chance that you're actually going to get the shark eating your crap. But, 
can then go around and delete all these yellow ones. And you know, I only painted them yellow just to um, make it easier to see. And you can see the back of the boat, you have this huge entrance for getting in and out nice and easy. But now, once you rip out all these yellows, you're left with a nice looking base platform. You said in passive mode, you don't have to worry about the shark. If you're in any of the other modes, then I would say using the armored section would probably be in your best interest. But if you're worried about building a decorative raft, I don't think you're going to be in hard mode. You may. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. But as you see, once you take it down, it adds a nice little touch to it. We'll walk over here to this boat and, and look to the left to check out how it's forming up. So, as you can see, you got a nice looking bow, and it just kind of terminates there. And then you can have flat deck and then do a raised section in the back as well. Um, in fact, um, what I'm actually doing on one of my playthroughs is actually building a freighter. Probably do like shipping containers and that kind of stuff. It's a rather large boat. I mean, I mean, it's easily twice as long as that. So that's that. That's um how you can build it up. And like I said, the reason why you're using two half height pillars is because of that. A shame as I'll probably delete this um, playthrough or this uh, creative mode just because it served its purpose. But nice. Gets the job done. Like I said, if you're in hard mode or any other modes and you have the ability to um, craft the foundation armor, I would say do that. But that's going to be really expensive. Two nails, no problem. That's just scrap. But metal ingots, yeah, you're going to be farming a lot of metal ingots and a lot of freaking um, uh, scrap because each half height pillar is one plank, one nail. Whereas this is two planks and two nails. It's the same cost either way, but to be able to get it to work and look like that, you're going to have to use two half height versus one hole because the other half is right here is what's actually supporting your floor. It stays in place. It doesn't get in the way because, well, you're not really going to be up there any anyway. But that's just um, the way it goes. I'm going to be changing my playthrough a little bit. And I've got a decent raft set up already. But, and I'm starting to get length to it. But, I now have to decide if I'm going to do that treatment because it's a passive mode playthrough. Or if I'm just going to start another passive mode playthrough and start doing it like that and actually build a ship. I don't think I'll build it quite as big. Um, or is this is six wide. Another thing that I find that's really handy is when you're laying out your engines, you have to keep in mind that um, if you're using an even number width on your ship or your boat, your raft, whatever, um, you're not going to have a center line piece just for your anchor. So, and I actually like putting the anchor a little bit farther forward now and moving the engines as far back as possible. But what I like to do is find my center line and you can do your engines a couple different ways. I'm going to come up to it takes three long to be able to put one down. So you can actually put it in where they're side by side. And I'll show you that. And like I said, my, my main raft, uh, my main playthrough that I'm doing now actually has um, four So you put one in this way and one this way and then you just have to change direction. So they're both going to work in the same direction now. 
And for this width of a boat, I think that's probably what I would end up doing. And that puts the, the gap right there. Because when you're building over this section here, what's going to happen is you're going to run into a spot where you can't put pillars around it. And you're not going to be able to completely enclose around it. You see, you can't put one there, but you can put one there. But there. 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 But, like I said, you're, you're not going to be able to put them everywhere where you're going to need them. So it makes it difficult to, to be able to put a roof in over that, which is why you see that I'll put in, like, smokestacks or things like that. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and do this in white, just so I have a, a visible border here, and I'll just build over this um, rear section. Because you still need to have your outside structure. English run channel and yeah no all caps here bro and I'm skipping a step but that's fine I just do well nope. there 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 So that works out pretty good anyway. Alright, so we, once you've got your half heights down, back in and put your other half height that it has to be two half height pillars stacked will not work with one whole height pillar So you see what I'm talking about here in just a moment with the um, the engines posing a problem with um, building over the top of them. I don't really know how the uh, developers can fix that issue. Um, it's something to keep in mind. here you can get most of the way around but you're gonna have that gap right there and it's just no easy way of rectifying that So yeah, you're going to have that gap there that's going to be really difficult to try and fill. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some 
stairs up there and not worry about building the rest of it. Alright, so said you're stuck with this, not much you can do there. Um, since you can't put a pillar in between there, there's nothing. There's It's just a gap. It's a double wide hole there. Um, it works out okay for the engines because you do have one gap on this side one one wide gap here. So getting around is no problem because you're going to have to turn the engine on here but refuel it here. And refuel, you know, turn it on here. So as you come down, you have to turn this one on. Run around. Turn this one on. Get that some planks in hell. As you can see, this is not enough for... That's just not enough speed for this size boat. Of course, then again, I'm tethered to about 5,000 freaking uh, tiles. So to deal with that, um, I guess well, the best way to go about it is, and yes, it will bug me that I don't have these covered. Oh, you're such an idiot. Um, I said, I've been using this as a place from for building like a smokestack or a light tower or lookout tower, whatever. So, you can actually do that. So, let's go ahead and just show you one way of dealing with this. And I'm going to go ahead and put, I'll show you why, is here and here. I love this lamp thing. Put it down here, it's a floor lamp. Put it over here, it's a wall lamp. Put it on the ceiling, it's actually a, a chandelier. Alright, so I'm hanging two lights in there. Is good enough. And it has a ceiling on there, but I'm going to actually do something a little bit different. Since you're stuck with this, Might as well use it. And I should just build it in and make it look like it's part of the uh, the boat now. And make it as part of your lookout tower. Now the reason why I put these in here is you can actually see a little bit of the light coming out. But this is as high as we're going to go just because... So you really can't put anything out there and just for decorative purposes I will put down half height pillars everywhere and then we'll do the um, the rope always end up with so many frickin palm leaves that I, I generally just throw them overboard by the stacks Just a nice little look to it. It's all about looking good, right? Everybody wants to look good. I mean, I always look good, but you know, I mean, if you want to make your boat look good, you could actually put these um, as full height if you want, so it looks like it's supporting it, but 
entirely up to you. Um, not a great way to position these, but I just put them with a little bit of overlap. Alright, that's my lookout tower. So, Raft Craft. Um, that looks absolutely hideous. <laughs> I mean, just absolutely hideous. But it doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. I, I usually like to paint them black. Just kind of gives a nice little aesthetic. I had been doing white with blue on there like that. But decided I was going to change. And let's go ahead and actually... Save world, main menu. This is going to take forever to load these friggin' maps. I don't know why these maps take so long to load, but... Alright. This is uh, the last one that I was working on. Um, nobody can join. Not right now. And, unfortunately, it'll take a while to load up, but I can also load up the, the hexagon. Another one I was just kind of screwing with, but... All these are just temporaries. I end up deleting them anyway. But today I just felt like doing a raft video. Actually, I felt like doing it yesterday, but was just tied up with too many other things going on that I said, you know what? We'll save it for Monday. And for my UE4 folks, um, I will be doing... I was messing with the, um, the weapon switching uh, template, and I just... I got to a point... Especially when someone then asked me, well, does it work in multiplayer? And then I wanted to stab him in the neck, face, eyeballs, ears, testicles, anus, whatever. Um, no matter how much I love him as a brother. Um, my little Algerian tater farmer. Uh, I wanted to kill him at that point. Because I told him, once I go down this rabbit hole, it is not multiplayer replicated. It is not going to be multiplayer replicated. You didn't tell me... Whenever I ask you, does it need to be multiplayer replicated? You didn't say yes or no. So, if you don't specifically request multiplayer, you don't get multiplayer. Alright, so this is just empty. Nothing going on there. Um, again, just a, a random boat. Just trying a different look on things. Um... Close them doors. And then up here, command center. I normally like to have this section wider. I'm usually doing an odd size, so I can put this and that together and still be able to have my little stare out into the wilderness look. But as you can see, this is a little bit larger boat than the other one was. And I think about the flow of the stairs. I think about little dumb shit, you know. Yeehaw! I was going for a little bit different style look on the um, the very top. Instead of just being vertical all the way, you know, I've got the nice hull shape here, and I did black on the bottom with white on the top. I did the uh, Atlantic fairings up front and. I'll probably do a rope all the way across, and then I'll put a larger thing on the back, or I'll put, like, a, what will look like containers, or whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out something. But, yep, shark, I see you. And see, by putting two pontoons out, it kind of almost looks like it's a, a door that, that's folded open so you can get in and out of the boat. Dude, there's just nothing in here whatsoever. This is... Being in creative mode, this was about an hour worth of work. Just slapping crap together. But just wanted kind of a different style shape to it. Unusual flow to the stairs, but that works. 
thing in chandeliers and it went with a, a single which is a half height so I had to use a full height pillar and a half height pillar you can kind of see the seam right there um, to get this to work lovely and then let's see here hexagon new design this is I think the current one but we'll come back to that beefalo cruise lines nobody can join I'm gonna end up deleting every single one of these except for yeah you know, I'll like I said I'll probably end up being bored and can't sleep and we'll stay up all night and start from scratch all over again on a peaceful you know I play on peaceful you guys can give me shit about it all you want to but uh, I play on peaceful because I want to relax and enjoy myself a little bit other than doing creative at least with peaceful I can still sail and go around and experience the story you know, elements not really a story aligned to this you're on a freaking raft and you're stranded and they're building a little bit of a story into it as you go but it doesn't really need a story I play it on peaceful modes and so I don't have to worry with the shark I can just get out there build stuff and don't worry about anything killing me except for forgetting to eat and drink so this was the, the test to see about starting to decorate things Yes, for the music, I've placed um, four of the radios. You can only really find one in regular playthrough. But I do have one on regular playthrough. So I put some hammocks for people to you know lay down and relax. People kind of gather in chairs and hang out. There's nothing here. It's just, just mostly the back of the boat. So yeah, <laughs> there's nothing there. And blow deck, not a thing. So yeah, um, On the playthroughs, holy ship! The love boat. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> ship test. I don't need that one anymore. Um, I think this is my what? Oh, right here. Before cruise lines. Um. This is the last playthrough in Peaceful that I've done, and I'm going to end up redoing it just because, well, I've already completed everything that's up to now, storyline-wise. Even though I've gotten the length just about where I want, I just, I want to go back now that I know how to do the, um, the angled sides on the, the ships. I kind of want to go back and start configuring for that and do an even wide ship versus um, odd. And now I could just rip this one apart and instead of starting from scratch, that way I'd already have the engine, the steering wheel, the all the goodies and stuff. And I'm still on the fence, but I'm going to have to expert painter, yeah. Do a lot of painting. No, I don't do any real artwork, but I just have an OCD about laying out lines. And so, I mean, I've got my radar here. I am on 7917. I've got this island right here is the island where you get the captain's head. And I'm down to one llama. 
Um, I had two more llamas. Say hello to Kevin. Um, I figured out how to do these finally. Gotta stop being an idiot. Um, a simple fish stew, fish stew, fresh compote, or fruit compote, and vegetable soup. They're okay. They give you a nice little bonus here and there, but. Um, where did I put my radio? Oh, well, anchor's down, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah, two. Of my, I forgot to water my, my plants down there. And. Um, yeah, put it right out here. And two of my llamas died. So I've got trees, six. I should probably get rid of one of them because water bottle holds five water. You can only water five things at a time before you have to come back. And yeah, so poor planning on that until I actually get a different way set up. But I'm gonna end up removing one of these for now. Medium and small, um, my fresh water. Make sure I'm good. Then. This thing's indispensable. You can see I'm starting to get some length onto the boat. Um, there, there appears to be kind of a limit here. I've got two more over there, and these two, these two don't get used. Uh, I got some good length going on here, um, but I don't care for the width, so I'm going to end up redoing either redoing this entire boat or the entire deal here. And you can see I've got six engines. Two rows of three, and all I run it is wood because I have my own supply of wood, um, and I have Kevin. Before it gets completely dark over here, um, when you see this island with this big, huge help flag in red up here, there is a boat, and if you go to the boat, um, there is holes in the side of it. Come on, get over here before it gets totally dark. You can go through here, and there's usually a chest inside. Right about there. And then... Go inside, and you'll find the... Captain's hat sitting here. There's something else over here. There's, um... Scrap. You're out of the water planks and stuff like that are just no, have to have it but there's a scrap on the roof but yeah that's where you're going to find your captain's hat and I don't remember if the radio was there oh, mushrooms and dirt yay I'm not going to save this I'm just going to go back out but If I remember correctly, there was nothing else up here besides just the flag, so. Pineapples. Plastic is the bane of my existence right now. No problem with wood, but maintaining a level of plastic so you can build all these floats is really gets me. But you can see, let's see what day this is. I think we've got a calendar out. The freaking water coming over the deck is what really bugs me. So that's why I want to build it up to where it's like in the other, my first part of the video where it actually looks like a boat and not actually occupy anything whatsoever on this bottom deck except for anchor and my engines. That's the only thing, and my water supply will be the only thing that's going to be on the bottom deck. Um, pretty much everything, I need to get a, a bird. So I can get an egg, and then I'll have the last thing researched. I get the egg. Um, chest just for paint and paint-related stuff. With seeds so I can make my own. Plenty of scrap. My net launcher. Um, seeds. Food-related items. You see, these two nests are always active, but the other, the front two are never active. So yeah, that's a tour. It's totally unorganized right now. These are just kind of globbed together. 
they'll end up going on an upper deck if I keep this particular playthrough. Um, but you can see I have the um, the catchers running the entire back of the boat. And don't want to save. So that's my, my current playthrough. And I think what I'll do is end up going on a, another playthrough and just go from there. You can see I got that one, that one. Ship test, I have no idea what that is. Love boat, I don't know what that one is. Um, that's the one that I just did. So I think I'm just going to go through and I'll start deleting all of these. And if you want to join in and you're a member of my Discord channel, then let me know in Discord if you want to join in and play some. The game is available on Steam, 20 bucks. I don't make any profit from it or money from it. Um, but I do encourage you first off to look to see if it is on. Which Let's go ahead and do this. Desktop. Google Chrome. And... always check first. Um, there should be a link in my video description for coming here, but always check Green Man Gaming first, and if you if you do have the the link, and you get the link from my, my YouTube videos, um, yeah, it's not available on here, which is unusual. They usually have a pretty good selection on here, but yeah, you can get good deals on games. Um, They've got specials and sales and stuff like that going on all the freaking time. Uh, the main page, got a lunar sale going on right now. Uh, again, pre-order games. I've got I couldn't tell you how many games that I've bought from here. Fallout franchise, up to seventy-five percent off. What? Fallout Four Game of the Year Edition, eighteen less than eighteen dollars. Fallout New Vegas, $2.70. Wow. Commandos 2. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition is down to 50 frickin' dollars. you got to be kidding me. I actually need to play that game. You know, Not only do I have a copy of it, but I have two copies of it. I bought one for a friend who's played one time with me. And kick him in is not slider too. But what's more important? Life, family, um, job, income, bills, kids, or hanging out with your bro playing video games? I mean, seriously, what's more important? So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Red Dead Redemption Two Ultimate Edition is less money here right now than what I paid for the damn game when it was new. And then I paid for it twice. I've, I'm out about 120 bucks for the standard edition for two copies of that. And yeah, normally this is $99. PC Ultimate Edition, yep, yeah, whatever. I'm not entering anything but, because I'm not logged in. But I can just sign in, and I actually get a little, little bit extra uh, discounts. But if you go to YouTube and you, well, you're here on YouTube probably. So, um, yeah, you look at the video description, there will be a link for you to take that will get you directly to Green Man Gaming. Use that link before you go. And, you know, I don't really get any, any money out of it, but, you know, it's, it's nice, though, that they, they see where you're you're getting the information from and I see that I'm the one that's promoting it so who knows maybe they might like me enough to actually send me a dollar or something you know all right get out of here and I'm gonna go take care of some other business if you guys like watching raft and you want to see more of it let me know in discord I'm gonna be doing some more hunter coming up soon uh, the hunter classic the new turkey models will be out relatively soon um, Gaming wise, I may also be doing some more World of Warships or World of Warplanes. I actually kind of get into that every so often. I don't play any of the any of the games 
all the time. Raft is the one that's been killing my time because I like it. It's relaxing, and I have a good time with it. Um, thanks for watching. Catch me on Discord. Love you all. See you later.